ignorance on the dash of the dash and the students. They were all telling tall person, yes, I do agree. But there was a towering, towering personality <laughs> beside me. So it's something like, so like I'm just a cloth and he's a sand root. So the sand root is covered by the cloth and the fragments of the sand root is transferred to the cloth. That's it. So that has to be the fragment. Right. As the title says, management conflict on technovation, technovations in business ecosystem. Okay. Basically, what do you mean by management conflict? See, it has to be interaction. So, management conflict means it is the, the platform to the leaders in business and management education to reflect on the current issues. What are these current issues? Have you heard of this uh, Industry 4.0? Okay. There has been revolution from the last uh, couple of uh, decades or couple of centuries and so on. But the most important revolution is the industrial revolution which has taken place from the last three to four centuries. So, during 18th and 19th century, first this industrialization, we call it as the first industrial revolution, right? Wherein the manufacturing process came into existence. And then in the early 20th century, the second industrial revolution was started by Henry Ford. Okay, that is the assembly line, especially for vehicle. Once when there is assembly line, there could be um, uh, manufacturing items in abundance, so the quantity could go on more. Okay, so that was the industrial revolution. Those days they used to say industrialize or perish. And now we have the third industrial revolution which has been there for the last 50 years. What is that revolution? So the analog systems, analog, mechanical and electronic system was converted to digital. Uh, mid 70s when I started the engineering, we did not have a calculator. We had only an analog computer. What is the analog computer? Slide rule. Two fixed ruler and one which could slide it. And there used to be a cursor. Has anybody seen the slide rule? Tomorrow I'll get it and you can show. That slide rule used to cost 700 rupees. Those days. And then engineer salary was only about 400 rupees. <laughs> that was being imported because my brother was two years uh, senior to me, or uh, elder to me. Uh, it was my uncle who had got it from Germany. Okay, so that was an analog computer. And then when I started measuring in 74, 74, 75, we got the basic calculator. It used to be as big as a glucose biscuit pack with four batteries. LEDs, okay. Now you are in your mobile, you have the torch right now, so you could use that as a light also. So four batteries, and we did not have the adapter system also. Because for the adapter system, electronic system, earlier electronic system was one radio. Bigger the radio, more expensive it is and so on. Okay, it's more than the output. So that was being brought into digital. Okay, then finally we started getting calculators as, as low as about 25, 30 rupees and so on. So that was a transition from analog to mechanical and electronic system to digital system. Okay, now we are at the dawn of the fourth revolution. That is digitalization. Okay, for digitalization, what is that? Advanced materials, advanced technologies, automatic transportation. From it started, no? You have a car because the driver. Okay, there will be no mistake. Then, uh, Machine learning, artificial intelligence, flying cars, bioinformatics, okay, ecosystem. Now the energy, moreover they said that from the last maybe uh, 20 years, the average temperature of the continent has gone up around 1.5 degrees. Can you imagine if our temperature is over 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.5 degrees into 2.2. So, the temperature rises means we have a high fever. So, the entire continent will be fever. Once when there is that, the glacier started melting and the start this thing coming down. 
that is because of the carbon emissions basically from the petroleum and this carbon emission and the contribution to the um, emission is by the 20% of rich countries contribute to 80% of the carbon emissions. Right? So, and it's also said that in the next 20 years, the increase should not go beyond 1.5 degrees centigrade. 1.5 degrees is sustainable. If it goes beyond 1.5 degrees, even if it goes to 2 degrees also, probably by the end of the century, most of the coastal cities will be submerged. So that is once again in the ecosystem. And what is that? By burning fuel, fossil fuels, your vehicles, your industries, and so on. So that is incandescent bulb. Okay. Incandescent bulb, a hundred watt bulb used to give us some power. Now the same power we get from LEDs of about nine watts. Nine watts LED. Before that we had CFL. See from incandescent bulb, the uh, transformation was to fluorescent lamp tube light and then compact fluorescent lamp. Then from compact fluorescent lamp we have come to LED lamp. Now it is said that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Now when you bulb, 100 can bulb, you are giving energy, electric energy and that gives out light energy. We say it's destroyed. What is it destroyed? That heat energy will go. This heat energy is being accumulated beneath the ozone layer and that is called as the greenhouse gases and so on. Because of that, the temperatures increase. Okay, now it's a serious thinking that this ecosystem has to be reduced. And you should know that probably in the next maybe five to ten years, which will happen by one Mr. K. R. Sridharan, an Indian origin, American Indian, that they have devised a fuel cell, a small box that will be sufficient to take care of about four to five houses. I borrowed that video in fact. Yesterday about it. Fuel cell. Fuel cell, there is one particle, one layer, and on either side there are two layers. Okay. And that layer is nothing but a porcelain one, and that is extracted by the sand available in the seashore. And then from one side, oxygen, and the other side, some fuel, existing fuel, whatever it is. So that is it. And that will give, they don't say unlimited, and that will, uh, absolutely no carbon emission. That's what we call as an ecosystem. And that will give the power for the next 30 to 50 years. And you have been questioned, how are you guaranteed? Have you tested? Yes, it is being first was uh, Google, Flipkart, FedEx. They have started from the last 10 years, 10 to 15 years, 50% 50 of the electricity bill has come down. Already. So that was the ecosystem. And we need the managers to manage that because managers are the ones where they got to see and they got to um, convince managing is the it is once again in the sandwich between the employee and the employer. Isn't it? Managers, we are also employee, plus we are also employer. Because there is a dual role for managers. You, are, you manage yourself, you have got to behave yourself, you got to get used or to adjust it to the circumstances. What we say is the critical issues. Okay. One small uh, test uh, with the permission of authority and others. Shall I give you a small test? Okay, because morning uh, when uh, sitting with Acharya, you know, have breakfast, you say these managers, they have to be trained in all aspects of the hospitality and all the things because they will have to follow that and the others will follow these managers. So they will be looking at you people. So if they have to be taught something, first you got to be um, uh, mastered the, the all aspects. Okay, now uh, can you all do as what I say? You should do as what I say, right? Stretch your right hand. Stretch your right hand. You should do as what I say, okay? Hold your elbow, right? Close your four fingers. Keep the thumb upright, right? Keep your thumb on the left cheek. Okay, I think my brother. No, because see, Normally what we do is we follow others. The morning, the children will follow what the parents do. The students will follow what the teachers do. Similarly, the employee will say that what you do. If you are honest, they will be honest. If you are correct, they will also be correct. Because of the managers, couple of companies have closed down. Madam was telling one more, whatever Nokia. Okay. 
Right. Once again, the change is always constant. If one can adopt the change after the change has taken place, they can just survive. If one can adopt the change along with the change, one can succeed. If one can create a change, then they can lead. We want you to be the leaders. Because this management company, after the deliberation shut down, you can make a curriculum what is required for the next 30 years, 40 years. You can recommend to the universities also. Like from this, the outcome of this management industry for is what? Future jobs and skill training. 65% of our Indian population are of less than 25 years. If they have to survive, your just degree will not be sufficient. You have to be trained skillfully. Only skillful training will cater and say that your country goes up. If your country is good, you are good. When you say good morning, why do you say good morning? Good morning will create a good mood. Your good mood will make your day good. If your day was good, your work will be good. Everything will be good. So you start with the day with good morning. The moment you see in the morning, just give a smile, good morning. This is widely adopted, especially in America. Whomever sees strangers, they just smile and say good morning. That's all. Don't talk further. If you feel, oh, a nice looking lady is well, good morning. If you go here, good morning, then that will be a bad morning. Okay. That's more than that. So, Create a mood. So create with, with positive attitude you should go. Okay. Now this industry 4.0 is for the future jobs and skills. For that jobs and skills you got to have a goal, isn't it? Now that, that goal will be with a time limit. With the time limit you got to have that goal split into steps is called a plan. And your action back with the plan will reach your goal. Your goal is not for your self-centered, it has to be for an organization. It has to be for the country. Once when you have a goal, management, management, education has to be there. So that education, once you have a goal, you have the vision and all, vision can be, but it has to be supported by the mission. Vision, yes, everybody do. Mission has to be supported. All your teammates, your employers, your colleagues should support for your vision into the mission. And then, what is to be taught? What curriculum is to be taught? Right? That has to be incorporated into your syllabus and all. And then, <coughs> what to teach is one part, how to teach is another part. How to teach, how to make your colleagues effective in all these things. Okay. I'm not from the management. <coughs> you can ask me from the electrical, maybe I can talk more, maybe you won't love it, just learned all, all these things. Anyway, um, uh, I'm glad that uh, Dr. Gita, colleagues, Professor Saiba, there, all of them, right? If not only the institution, of course, we are just seven years old and stepped into eight year. I've been fortunate enough to be the uh, founder principal of this uh, uh, baby because that was what my vice chairman told me. We were supposed to start in 2010. It was deferred by a year. He called me one day and said, Professor, that your baby is coming up. It's your responsibility to care, take care of the baby. Now, of course, now the baby has grown up. Uh, not, uh, I, I don't, the baby don't need much of my. Uh, Okay. There are so many others also because it's already almost coming to a, a, a childhood or even the adolescence. Okay, but uh, and if from this institution has come up, it is because of the team work. What is team? E A M together. You have power to achieve more. Only when you have a team, when you have a coordination, everything will come up. Okay. So with these few words, I wish all of you, Gita Madam and all others, to have a fruitful, very good, deliberate session for the next. Yes, on the management conflict, deprivation, ecosystem and so Thank you. All the best. Yeah.